Hello, my friend. I want to talk to you about disappointment, the doom and gloom you feel when you're disappointed. Whether you're disappointed in something another person has done to you, or whether you're disappointed because you were hoping something would happen, or whether your disappointment, disappointment is about the loss of something, the loss of hope very often. Disappointment always leads to a feeling of going down, a feeling of your stomach lurching to the bottom, the feeling that everything is doom and gloom forever after, as if this one disappointment, this one alteration in the way in which your life is set up, is going to be too much to bear, as if your entire fabric of life is being unraveled because one strand is being pulled out. Well, that says it all. It's never but one or a few strands of your life that are taken from you. And it's really important to learn to allow disappointments in your life and to be able to bear them, to carry that heaviness with you and to value it for what it teaches you. Because it teaches you your mortality. It teaches you that you cannot bank on anything. You cannot take anything for granted. The things that you were hoping would happen are not going to happen. The things that you were prizing, that you thought you had, that you owned, are now no longer yours. What does it tell you? It brings you back to the bottom line, to the fact that we're always deprived in some way, that there are always losses, that nothing is there forever, and that the task of being human is exactly that. It is to find the flexibility to encompass all that, to make it part of your system, because that is the breathing of life. You breathe in with hope and f of fulfillment and you make yourself feel full and strong. But when you're disappointed, you're breathing out and you're letting go. You're losing and giving up. You're emptying yourself. And that emptiness is the basis from which you will breathe in again, and so ensues the rhythm of life, like the rhythm of the tides. Sometimes we're in full flow, and sometimes we're at our ebb, and both those states are equally important, and you need to learn to be open to the loss and hold the disappointment as a new start and a moment of reflection on what it is that you're truly regretting and truly feeling sad about and how you can bring that back into your life in a new way but in a stronger way, a less vulnerable way this time. Value your disappointments, they are the teachers of your life. Make the most of it, my friend.